So Dr. Deb Reed Trust, Dr. Jeanette Nashua, who just returned from a medical mission in Lviv, and she joins me right now. Doctor, thanks so much for, uh, we have relied on you during COVID. We relied on you for your coverage there in Ukraine. What did you see? You know, Lawrence, I thought working in the emergency room, I had seen almost everything, gunshot wounds, car accidents, lacerations, but you know, nothing compares to what I saw on the grounds firsthand in Lviv. It was absolutely horrific. It was awful. I mean, you have families being torn apart. We have homes pulverized. We have over 10 million Ukrainians who've been displaced from their homes. That's more than 25% of the population there in, in Ukraine. And a third of them have medical conditions, chronic medical conditions. So you have people dying from firsthand from being shot at from the bombs and the strikes, but then you're going to have this wave of secondary death for people that have these chronic conditions that can't get the health care that they need. So we were out there, we were trying to give them as much care and take care of them as, as best as we can, but it was a challenge because every day health care workers, volunteers are being attacked. And even though that's a violation of international humanitarian law, Putin doesn't care. He will kill and attack anyone because he's a vile, vicious murderer. And that's one of the greatest concerns is humanitarian aid and effort getting into Lviv, getting into Kiev and these places, Maripol, but it's dangerous. It's becoming more and more risky. We saw today in Lviv two or three bomb strikes, explosions. When I was there last week, we had one and we thought, okay, maybe that's just going to be it. But every place in Ukraine now is becoming more and more dangerous. Um, and and it's, it's, it's sad. It's a challenge. We need to do more to help them. And we've been putting up images on the screen from when you were back there. Doctor, I, I just want to hone in on something because some of the propaganda from Putin has suggested that in those medical facilities, inside those uh, those bunkers for just people that, that are taking safety, are b being used as human shields. You were there. Yeah. Separate fact from fiction so our audience knows about it. So that. I'm working at a railway in Lviv where I see hundreds and hundreds of, of Ukrainians coming off the trains. And we're above ground um, and we're trying to take care of patients. But if the alarms go off, if the sirens go off, we try to go underground to take shelter and bring our patients with us. Um, it's, it's risky. Even if you're underground in shelter, you see the, the, the children's theater that was just bombed. And there were probably two or three hundred people that lost their lives in that because they were stuck underneath the rubble. Um, so so, no, we're not there just taking shelter. Ukrainians are trying to get food, water, shelter, medical care, and flee the danger, mm -hmm. the death, and the destruction. Um, but it's hard for them, for some of them, to leave. Um, but you know, everyone is out there trying to do the best they can. But it's it's really it's really a challenge. Doc, I know you never want to make the story about you. You went there to volunteer to help people in need. But was there any point during your trip where you felt like this is it? I may not make it back home to the States. When the when I was sleeping in uh, my sleeping, uh, the bunk bed cot that we had, I heard the alarms going off. And at first I was like, I said to my bunk mate, what is that noise? And it, it, it was surreal. I said, uh, oh my goodness, are we going to be able to get out of here? Is it going to be dangerous? Because we have to actually drive a couple of hours to the border to get out. So I was worried. I was concerned. You know, I have family and work to, you know, to get back to the United States. But at the same time, we want to help those in need. It's our duty to serve, to help others in need. Um, so yeah, there were moments we were scared, but we prayed and we did the best we can. We had a shelter underground. But, uh, you know, at this point, it's becoming too dangerous, I think, for for everyone going in and out of Ukraine. You know, Doc, uh, we're so glad that you made it back. Uh, we're so glad that you went there uh, for the people of Ukraine that are in need. Um, but we're so glad to have you back home. We thank you so much for coming on the show tonight, Doc. Thank you, Doc. Lawrence. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.